Hey, what's up everybody? In today's video, we're going to show you a quick and easy example of how you can use the roll-up field in Airtable. So if that's something you've been struggling with, stay tuned. So the roll-up field, in the simplest terms, allows you to perform formulas or calculations in specific cells from records in a linked table. So it basically does the exact same thing that the lookup function does, but then it can perform a calculation on top. So let me show you a couple examples from a base that I threw together over here in my new Airtable account. So this example base is to track the performance of a customer service rep team. So when I put together this example, I was kind of thinking about the online chat customer service for web hosting. Sometimes in the chat, when the customer pulls up the online support chat window to ask the customer service rep for some kind of technical advice or technical help, somewhere throughout the conversation, the rep might suggest some kind of additional upsell that the customer can purchase. Maybe it's domain privacy, a website design, or something else. And on the rep's end, that closed sale might go towards their monthly employee review. But also, towards the end of the chat, the customer might get a prompt to leave a quick star review, like one out of five stars, as well as some additional customer feedback. So in this example, that information might be summarized in the ticketing software and then shoot over to Airtable at the end of each month as a kind of monthly report. So if you look at the monthly reports table on this base that I set up, you can see that for each month, both of my two customer service reps have an average customer rating as well as a total of all of their sales closed for that particular month. So our objective here is to create a couple roll-up fields within the service reps table to kind of summarize all of the information from the monthly reports, including the average customer rating as well as the sum of all the sales that they've closed. So the first thing that we need to do in order to create these roll-up fields is to link both of these tables because that link is what is going to provide the relevant data for the roll-up fields that we'll be creating. So in the monthly reports table, you'll see that I've already filled in the data of the service rep name right here in this second field. It's a text field now, so I'm going to change that to a linked record field. And because the data within the service rep field already matches with the service rep name field uh, in this first table here, it should automatically link with no issue. So let's give it a try. Let's select the field type and link to another record. And we're going to click service reps and we're going to uncheck that option right there are you sure you want to convert yes and you'll see that now we have that linked field right our linked record right there uh, and it automatically generated within the service reps table so now we have our service reps within the service reps table connected to all of their monthly reports. And so that's the first step of creating these rollups. So now let's set up our customer rating rollup field. And what we want to do with this customer rating or customer satisfaction field is we want this rollup field to get the average of all of the monthly star reviews for this particular service rep. So that might be useful to get an overall gauge of how customers feel about interacting with this rep. And so we will create the new field right here with this plus, and we'll call this maybe customer satisfaction. And we are going to change this field to a roll up. And we're going to link it to the monthly reports and link it to the average customer rating. And so 
the rollup function that we're going to use right here is the average. So it'll take all of those star reviews, one out of five, and provide us with an overall average. So we can see Antonio's average rating from whenever he started working here is a two and Tom's is a four. So that kind of gives us a bird eye view of what their overall performance is. So now we want to create the second rollup field, which is the sales closed to date. Um, and so on the second rollup, we want to see the sum of all of the sales that the rep has closed. So we'll do the same thing, create another field right here. And we'll call this one sales closed, make it a roll up. And we're going to link to the same table, but we'll link to the sales closed field. And instead of the average function, we are going to use the sum. So what the sum does is it adds in all of the values from these linked records and that particular field. And it gives us the total for both of our sales reps. And we're going to customize this field type through formatting and turn it into a currency. So there you go. That's just a couple ways that you can use the rollup field to calculate and measure employee metrics over a long period of time. And if you want to take it to the next level, make sure you check out the following video where I'll show you how you can perform a conditional rollup. Meaning, what if you wanted a summary of your employee performance, but you wanted to filter it by the year? So within the service reps table, we could have performance for the 2019 year, 2020, etc all split up nice and neat for us. So make sure you check out that video, which should pop up somewhere in the corner of this video or perhaps even in the description. So beyond that, I hope this video gave you a basic idea of the roll-up field. And if you have any questions, feel free to drop them in the comments below and I'll try to get back to you as soon as possible. Until next time, take it easy.